the Blade Files. Okay, guys, so we're back with part two of John and Esther's interview on the cutting edge of NZ cosplay because yours truly decided to not have enough memory on his phone <laughs> the last time we took the video, so. <laughs> Genius. So we'll just get straight into it again. So, um, what is cosplay really about for you guys? Friendship. It's, it's about friends and just hanging out with people. You know, I, I mean... The community, really. Basically, yeah. yeah. It's a sense of community. It's kind of like joining like, the mummy mob, you know. You come from a broken home and you're just like, I, I gotta get good friends and, you know, you're, you, you start getting these friends and, and then drugs are involved and it's bad. <laughs> like, kind of, kind of similar. This is no affiliation. This is actually... Extreme couture, it's not red and black. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, 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 we're, we're not wearing red at all. <laughs> no, no, it's it's honestly just about the community, I reckon. It's just the people involved, and it's there's such a positive vibe. It's, it's really good, yeah. Yeah, which seems to be a common theme so far. Yeah, yeah. I was just oh, saying, yeah. most people do have friends, actually. <laughs> not because we don't have friends, but just... <laughs> well, yeah, no, we're, we're, we're totally normal. We, we have lots of friends. Which is just for me, like, mostly, I don't my uh, cosplay friends sent out number of my non cosplay Oh, like, yeah, more definitely. One or something. <laughs> yeah, I guess Chris counts for like eight people. He's about as loud as eight people, so he counts for the same. Oh, the bro, yeah, the, the, yeah. The bro man is strong. We're an official ship. Did you know it's that? It's actually an, a ship it's, in it's the cosplay community. It's an official community. ship, yeah. Chris X John. Yeah, apparently it's a thing. Just gonna go internet wide now. I'm, I'm the UK, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> There's yeah. a fan fiction being written, just saying. <laughs> no, it's been written. Also, um, I think Nadi's going to help oh, me write Oh gosh, there's a this this second one coming out. Yeah, there's a second one coming out. We're going to make it like a child's like, kind of like pop-up illustration book with like very in-depth pictures and stuff. It's oh wow. Great. Watch this space. <laughs> okay, well, pretty much along that line. So how much does your love of cosplay affect your life outside of cosplay? Well, a lot. You know, it's, it's money. You know, like you got to you got to work. You got to get money basically to do cosplay. That, that's the thing. It's like, well, you kind of think it. You you think about events you want to kind of. Yeah. Keep. It's like, I got to take time off work for that one. I'm applying for leave, Christmas holidays, or Auckland down the kitten. No, the hands down. No question about it. Oh, uh, it's not too bad. I mean, you just kind of fit into what you are doing every day. And and for me, I mean, like outside. Work and, and studying that kind of stuff. Oh, it's basically. Oh shit, there's a third chicken. There's a chicken running oh, around. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh my gosh, wow. There's three of them now. I think that we've got a bit of an audience. We do. <laughs> we came to a different location to get away from people and we found chickens chicken decided chicken to populate chicken. the area. So. <laughs> yeah, wow. What, what was I saying? I can't even remember now. I think the chicken's kind of. No, I don't know. <laughs> The they, they stole the they stole the show. Oh yeah, oh just things um, into your everyday life. Yeah, it's I mean you just it's like any other hobby. You just kind of make time for it when you can, and yeah, it's good. It's pretty good. I mean, apart from the times where I've, you know, kind of oh, had great. a screaming fit because I can't finish a costume properly. You mean the times when you like ripped the sewing machine out of the wall and you kind of just like bit the throat across the room? Well, that time you like had me by the throat and you're like, I'll shank you with the needle. Those are good times. You remember those? We don't talk about those. The no, dark I don't days. Really those are I dark days. I remember those. I remember those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta finish this bunny suit, don't you stop me! <laughs> I'll wreck you! <laughs> do you think cosplay is just for nerds, or like, do you even think it's a nerdy thing? It's, it's, it's for nerds. Wait, wait, you wait, think wait, it's just for nerds? You hang it up with nerds? <laughs> Holy shit, man. Do you find like people that aren't nerds are Getting oh, into yeah. a more and more these oh, days. Oh, it's becoming oh, really, it's becoming really like. I hate to. I want to win the battle on my superhero player costume contest. Yeah, like oh, but I'm gonna send it at my present other. Oh yeah, you come at my bias. Like it's like that, you know. It's literally like that. It's not that bad. I it's mean, that bad. Oh, there are some people like it's that. Got to that point. <laughs> Where it's kind of it's crossing over a little too much, but I do I do think that it's becoming I hate to use the word but socially acceptable. Yeah. Oh shit! It's becoming mainstream. Oh shit! Do you not like that? That might be the case. Oh shit! Do it for this shit. Oh well, there's people that make fun of it. And there's people... <laughs> Let's be serious here. It's well, it's it's, it's, <laughs> it's it's like I don't know. It, 
Oh. It's good in a way. Like it's good that it's not like you're totally weird, but there's a lot of people. It's that good. It's not like laughing. It's yeah. not the It's not like laughing. Yeah. I apologize for all the laughers. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm, that you'd be laughing. I'm really sorry. <laughs> you didn't catch it in the last one. They don't roll. <laughs> no, we do not role play. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it, it's definitely kind of becoming a lot more socially acceptable. But, I mean, you know, it's really for everybody, and that's the, the good thing. And honestly, I mean, you know, people can interpret it how they want, really. And yeah, it's their I mean, choice. It, it does come down to, like, the definition of cosplay. Like, yeah. I mean, to, to, to be very literal, I guess the, the, all the people that go to, like, any of the uh, OE kind of things and any form of costume are technically cosplaying. Technically, I guess. Yeah. But it just might not happen to be into the rest of the nerdy kind of things, but they're technically cosplaying. To, to be fair, they just hmm. like to do it with a shit ton of alcohol around them. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. your choice at the end of the day. I mean, Chris and I personally leave that for like <laughs> after, but. And Colin. You're actually not Colin's worst. And then there's some of us who don't drink, so. <laughs> but no, it just really comes down to how you interpret it, I really think. And I mean, any. I think that there's a point, I mean cosplay is effectively just costume play and, and for it's just basically grown up dress ups. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, there's obviously there's obviously kids who cosplay as well, but it's just kind of like keeping that, that spirit of creativity alive. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. Like to be honest, I think most cosplayers are like giant kids. I mean, oh, we're yeah. basically big kids. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's, it's very obvious. I mean I'm spazzing out over a chicken right now, I mean come on, let's <laughs> challenge to that. Not in cosplay either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine if you were. Yeah. Well. You chase them down. Oh, yeah. So, what's your take on people that buy their costumes versus making them? Well, I have personally bought cosplays, so I, I, I and them. made them. I, I love them. I, I, I just love them. Yeah. I just oh. said I love them. They're, love what? They're all my babies. You know. What are your babies? Well, all, everyone that cosplays. Everyone's, everyone that cosplays is my baby. I yeah. think we moved on to the next question. No, we're talking about like people that buy their cosplays. Oh, okay. Like if you buy your cosplay, you're still my baby, you know. I'm yeah, not, well, I'm not then, honestly, you're my baby, you know? obviously, you know, like there's a certain point if someone. Came out my womb. <laughs> you know. If you're gonna say like that you made a costume when you didn't, obviously that feels kind of like well, okay. But like for me, um, some people do get really elitist about making it. They're like, oh, I never buy costumes. That's yeah. like, well. For example, I was planning to make a costume, it was just a school uniform, and then I saw it came up on Taobao for like real cheap, and I was like, eh, I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> it was good quality anyway, so it would just save me a lot of time, and I mean, I could focus on things that I really wanted to make, and some things you can't buy, so you just make them, and I love that creative process. Yeah. Um, but yeah, buying them, well, I usually modify, I have to modify stuff yeah, you anyway. Do yeah. yeah, like my Yuna I bought off a friend. I was planning to make it anyway, but it was kind That's of like... That one's Nadi. Thank you, Nadi. Love you. <laughs> but yeah, no, I had to modify it and stuff, and I kind of add parts to it. But yeah, no, I mean, it's just really like... Some people don't even know how to sew, so buying is the option. Or commissioning. <laughs> so, you know, like... Yeah, wins calm without even knowing how to sew. The next level... Well, casually. <laughs> the next like, level props me. Okay, no, I didn't intimidate anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Do that A <laughs> couple people didn't make it to that competition, but that yeah, well. Okay, so um, what websites do you utilize for help with your cosplay, and what sort of like techniques, costume making wise, do you favor? For me, it's hot glue. Basically, I can hot glue. I'm, I'm gonna hot glue it. Hot glue is freaking amazing. Yeah. Like, I honestly, if you don't have a hot glue gun, go out and buy one. It is the best thing you could add to your cosplay making kit ever. It's honestly a lifesaver. For example... Do you like cosplay arsenal, essentially? Well, yeah, it's yeah. pretty much yeah. like, you know, that one thing that you need that will just save your life, besides a sewing machine. Like, honestly, it was one of the best investments ever. Like. I made a costume for last weekend, we had this cosplay Easter picnic and I, I, me and a friend we made bunny suits, like versions of our characters, so that was kind of bunny suits, yeah, I had them all the way. <clears throat> it wasn't quite that, but anyway, I never made any... It wasn't quite any... that, it was, that. it was a little bit skimpier. <laughs> it was, no. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making it weird! Is there a hint of, he's saying he didn't actually have a problem doing it though? Or... Well, no. I, I really did it, but oh, I see the impression of a gun barrel in your head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm It's not, really I'm not awkward when you're trying to do, like, you know, the, the cups on the on the bodysuit, and he's trying to model it, and it's like, oh my god. So you said, really not not again. Well. Yeah. <laughs> no, 
No, but like I actually hot glued like some of it because I didn't want the same lines to show and when you sew it, it's just kind of like, and I've never made anything really fitting before so I was like, well, I'll just hot glue it. <laughs> it looked fine on the day, nobody knew. It's not cheating. <laughs> no, don't, tell, don't tell anyone, it's not cheating. No, I mean like it was just, it looked more effective for me so it was like great and I know friends who use hot glue all the time because they're not the most amazing sewers and it's really good because it does the job, it dries instantly. Like, what more could you ask for, really? <laughs> Does it scar very much? Or do you not have any better oh, scars? Oh gosh, my, the... honestly, I've almost removed a nail because I like glued it and then like pulled it off. <laughs> Wear yeah. gloves when you're making cosplay. Yeah, no, it was a I little bit I had scars pain. somewhere, but... Oh, I he has on your arms. Yeah. I, I bet my I mean, I like, I kind of like put the hot glue down, I was like, oh! Fuck, that's still on! Oh god, my skin is like sealing, what the fuck? But, yeah. It's a little, yeah, a little dangerous, but, um, yeah, no. We haven't got to the industrial sized guns yet, we've only got the kind of craft ones, but when you get into the industrial, little blue guns, it's huge! I can tell you, actually, I used one, because we've got one working, it's like seriously this big. Yeah. It's like, So I used honest. to put a lot of my stuff, Ooh. You feel so that powerful, you're like, hey, oh my god, <laughs> You guys would love using one of these. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, honestly, it's it's all about just asking people for advice. If you need any help, just like for example, in the community, you need like, help with your jeans. They're, they're ripped. I should, I should, oh should yeah, no, I should just hot glue those together. Yeah, I can hot glue those yeah. like. That's yeah, terrible. Hot glue that together. It's terrible. You, it's real good. I don't know if you can fix that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really beyond repair. I, I mean, you know, I can do post-apocalyptic versions. Yeah. It definitely looks Bad like damage. you haven't just attacked it with scissors and they're all yeah. Uniform. Oh no! Fake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about deception. Yeah. What about websites? What websites do you use? Oh, yeah. Oh. Are you talking about like reference pictures of like uh, stuff like that? Or? Yeah. Oh no! And the YouTube's good for tutorials. I love video tutorials. That's the best thing. I'm a really visual person, so I need like someone to either show me yeah. or. I need to see pictures and um, videos. Like, for example, I can't read a pattern because I, it just doesn't make sense to me. But if I see someone making something, yeah, then I'm like, oh, about I know exactly. About what? You were patterns the other day. She was asking something about that. I wasn't really paying much attention because it was just kind of mistress. But uh, <laughs> yeah, she was talking about patterns and you and something. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people find it kind of weird that I don't use a pattern. That I just kind of make it. Like, I freestyle it. Freestyle it. But I mean, you know, for me, it's just a different way of working. So it's it's finding what you think works for you. Some people just want the exact measurements and everything. For me, it's more just like modeling it to the person and really making sure that I know visually how it will sit on the body. And that's just how I work. Um, then I have, you know, Facebook and Instagram and just talking to people. And I'm like, yo, I need help with this. How would you do it? And then get some advice and then just take it from there. So. It's all about just, you know, talking to people, I think. Yeah. Yep. Okay. What stores do you go to for your material? Which are your favourites? David's and Bora. Moreland's. That, that's mm. going to be a common Hamilton <clears throat> answer. That old lady there loves me. Oh, she knows she, us, like, by name now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's and a nice lady, too. She, she always yeah. gives me discounts on fabrics, and I'm like, I'm not sure what she wants from me for it, but she always gives me discounts on fabrics. Yeah, they're really helpful at David's Emporium. She's like, oh, this is normally, like, this is normally, like, $8 a meter, but for you, for you, dare, it's $4. It's like, thanks. Build up a reputation with your local fabric store. <laughs> always helps, because then... If Take those out, let the old ladies out on dates. You'll, yeah. you'll never regret it. Give them, all sort of <laughs> Give them roses. They'll love you forever. <laughs> you no, like honestly, it's really good. Give food stamps. Uh, it's good to have an attractive Stop boyfriend to, really... to, to bribe these, oh. these people. <laughs> Who's your attractive boyfriend? Not you. Yeah. Not you. Who is he? Oh, I don't know. I'll roll him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll him. I'll love you one. What was the other place we used? Moreland's in Rotorua, eh? Yeah. Moreland's oh, there's one, there's one in store. Hamilton, but the one in Rotorua gets like a... It's like an outlet store. So it's like an outlet store, store so it's yeah. a bit cheaper. So when we go down there, we, we go and get a lot of fabrics from there as well. I'm we, guessing Spotlight is not going to be like a reoccurring thing in this particular series. Like, haven't heard it yet. Yeah, no one's going to say Spotlight. Spotlight is good if you want something very specific and are willing to pay for it. Yeah, you want to pay a shitload. Like, they do get a lot of range in it, it's really yeah. good, but the thing is, if you want just, say, a plain cotton or something, really generic, I honestly, go to Emporium, it's still all made in China. Yeah, like, it's all made by the slave children. Yeah, like, 
I mean, you know, Outlook Styles are really good. If you get it in bulk, it's, it's all good. So it does And I've, I've gotten stuff off Trade Me before as well. Like, I got a really nice Chinese brocade that was quite cheap as well. So, it, you know, it's just all finding the best deal, all that kind of stuff. And not thinking that you should just go in the spotlight because they honestly, like, if, unless you want something very specific, it's just so overpriced. Yeah. <laughs> and, and being a poor student, I really can't afford that. So <laughs> we found the loopholes. <laughs> Okay, so um, this is where we left off on, on the first interview. Mm. What is your favourite cosplay so far? Yours or someone else's? Or both? My favourite? Someone else's done? Yeah, it has to be Chris's Jen, you know, hands down. A, I play yeah, Jen. Yeah. Jen from A, Tekken. I yeah. play Jen. B, I'm having this one solely at Courtney Smith. Tekken is so much better than Mortal Kombat. Always. Always. That 3D element. And, um, you know, see, it's just badass. And it's Chris. And, it, you know, who doesn't want to look at it? Okay, roll there. Yeah. What would be your favourite one that you've done? Favourite one that I've done. Well, you've done Huang now, and you've done. Was it kind of like a Huang bait kind of crossover? That, it, it has to be Rock Lee, just simply for that yeah, bulge. The it's around child time. height, you know. And his like, parents are like, don't look at the, the man in the green jumpsuit, kids. It's like, yes, come here, children. In a totally non pedophilic way. Um, <laughs> And don't take pictures with Mason Drifter. Oh shit! Actually, he's leaving today. I I'm know. really sad. He's leaving. I'm not. I'm not I don't know who's going to grab my package. Six months, so. Oh, yeah, he's going to go. Like he's going to go to uh, the weird realm of uh, China. He's going to the rice fields. I'm, like, I'm like, please, please buy me things. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so basically, buy me cheap cosplay things. Genuine style. <laughs> genuine, genuine the Chinese real deal. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what would be uh favorite one that? A friend or someone's done. Um, I would have to say it's Tails cosplays Aqua from Kingdom Hearts. I really want to cosplay Aqua too, but she just really set the bar high for me, and I really admire her as a cosplayer and as a friend. And her Aqua was, was just really beautiful. So um, yeah, cosplay goals. <laughs> we're really we're planning to do a Kingdom Hearts group at some point. Um, us and another friend we're going to do Terra, Aqua, and Dentist. So we'll have the whole three. Um, it will be I'm really good. Oh yeah, totally, yeah, totally. Yeah, that, yeah. that, yeah, wow. Yeah. That booby armor. That booby armor, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, my, the favorite one that I've done so far, it would have to be a tie between um, Yuna and, right, right, right. <laughs> and Sailor Venus, who I've done the school uniform for in a bunny suit version, and then I'm going to do the Sailor Senshi uniform as well. So, yeah, but Yuna was super fun. And you were also the bikini the, the R18 for then, yeah. Or we're yeah. not supposed to tell people that. We're not supposed to tell people that. Too late. Oh, oh well. There's several versions, so yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> but yeah, Yuna's definitely up there. Always will be. Oh, the badass ads, yeah. So, what have you guys got planned for NZ Comic Con? Tekken. Tekken's basically the big one. That's the big one, yeah. So, he's planning to do Horong, and I'm planning to do JC. So, um, I'm not wearing white again, it just gets too dirty when you play fighting. Not the gi version, you're gonna do the, yeah. the, the jeans one. The, the chaps, chaps, yeah, oh yeah. God. The gonna be sex shop looking one. <laughs> just chaps alone, or chaps yeah, over something? Just, just, chaps you know, over something. Chaps. Yeah. Well, Cro wow. Chaps <laughs> over, over jeans. <laughs> We're gonna do fake jeans so that they don't actually go all the way down. You just, just yeah, just, just like just stretchy yeah. denim stuff as well. So yeah, just yeah. Like all, all the, so it'll be the high of... kicks that I know Chris will be wanting me to do for our skit. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard. I mean, like JC, I'm taking to comp hopefully. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, we had that planned, and then hopefully we'll just bring another couple of cosplays down if we can, you know. I have think time uh, actually someone wants to take the Naruto group down, so... Maybe know, doing the Naruto group, here. might be doing some Sailor Moon cosplay with a couple of friends, but we'll just see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. So, given you were entering the cosplay comp in Wellington, how are you preparing for it, like, either coming up with a skit or, like, dealing with the nerds before you get on stage? I thought you said the nerds for a second, I was like, dealing with the, dealing to the nerds! Come here! <laughs> Not that I did that when I was getting ready to do that. Oh, no! <laughs> I saw you that sword. Come in, you know. Oh, well. I'm actually, I mean, I've done a lot of theatre and stuff, so it's not nerve wracking for me, but I'm still nervous because I've never done it before. And, you know, like, I mean, I, 
it's going to be a challenge with the sewing and going up against some really cool, talented people. So I'm just kind of, I've only done really one mock-up so far and I'm, I've watched so many tutorials on like Rey Mysterio masks. They're gonna make so many wrestling <laughs> jokes at me when I'm Jay Z. It's gonna be so annoying. Actually, that's, that's another thing. Every time Chris and I are together, wrestling always comes up. It always comes up. You know, it's like we were, just, we were just standing there, and suddenly Chris just blurts out, "Oh, attitude era was the best." And it's like, where does this come from? It, it was a whole conversation right there. Yeah, hands <laughs> down, it was the best though. They're gonna tease me a lot. I, can, I know. Look, they look, look, look. <laughs> okay, I'm out of nowhere. It's <laughs> the wrong character. It's shit. Get on the level. I'm on the level. No, I'm the level. I was about to say, don't say that either, because that's not really that's that's not wrestling. It's not real wrestling anyway. But wrestling is it's not real wrestling. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's 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 Hence I come. Um, someone's trying to get me to do a Mortal Kombat group. Um, it actually wasn't Courtney, surprisingly, but someone wants to do more Scorpion. Kombat. Yeah, someone wants to do Scorpion. And obviously Terra. Yeah. Terra, um, Kingdom Hearts, Scorpion, Hence I come. Hence I come. Uh, apparently I'm doing Tetis as well. Oh yeah, Tetis. Um, we're going to do Tetis in the end. Hey, this is hey, oh my gosh. You can't even, you can't even limit it to three. Yeah. It's just like this ongoing list. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we, for example, like, we want to do Zack and Aerith. Oh, shit, yeah, and Zack and Aerith. Shit! Yeah. Um, and then I want to do Renoa, because he's already done Squall, so I'll, I'll do Renoa. And obviously I've already done Yuna, so he's going to do a Tetis. So it's just Final Fantasy cosplay. Final, 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 I was going to do Nob Christ from the 13th episode. Oh, well. yeah, and I want to do Sarah as well, so it's like, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, Aqua. Oh, so many. It's, yeah, and I also want to do Mortal Square Kombat. Next, really. <laughs> Yeah, Square Enix games. Can't yeah, wrong. That's just basically cosplay material right there. Wait, where did the chickens go? I don't know where the chickens go. I think they're scared of you now. No, 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 there they are, there they are. The guy's gonna eat them. Yeah. The guy's gonna eat them? Okay. Yeah, I feel like you should get a shot of the chickens now. Yeah. Where's the cherry sauce? Anyway, you're, you're, you're... I forgot the question I was gonna ask you. I was just gonna make... Oh, so, like, um, when you go to a given... How do you feel about pulling out old cosplays, or like once you've done it, you don't ever go back to it? It's all about new ones. Nah. Depends how popular they are. Actually. Uh, yeah, like usually you something like Rock Lee is just everyone loves you. You have to be loves you. It's the, it's the big bush, like bushy eyebrows. It's the the bulge. The, it's the, the bowl haircut. The bowl haircut. It's the, the bright green jumpsuit totally and the leg The leg Everyone just loves you. I, I don't know why. Hmm. I really don't. That might have something to do with the, the Dave's Emporium getting a discount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. probably, actually, yeah. Yeah, actually, it would surprise me. Yeah, no, I, like... I mean, we've reworn costumes before. Sometimes you just run out of time, and sometimes it's just so fun because someone's like, oh, I, I knew you did that character, let's do a group, you know? And then you just bring it out again. You might add a few things or improve on it, but it's, you know, it's fun bringing out old costumes or characters you've done before. I mean, Doing different versions of the character, that kind of stuff. It's, it's real fun. I mean, Whereas I was saying yeah. with, uh, with John, was just getting a U cut and chucking a wig on. Now you have a U cut version of whatever character you want to do. <laughs> it's great, it's great. <laughs> okay, so see, we finally finished the interview. What has the a... camera cut out? That's <laughs> the real question. Well, I probably should check, but I don't want to jinx it. We're just going to roll with it. Or yeah. we're going to roll. Yeah, we're going to roll. But um, what we're going to do now is. Uh, is this a super secret surprise or? Oh, is this, yeah, is this, this is, is oh this gosh, is like okay. This is, he like said that, that there would be a surprise, or. yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're only going to be able to do with with cosplay couples, but um, basically, oh. it's a nerd off. Oh, yeah. oh god! Oh no! So it's called the bait off. I am going to fail so bad. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I swear, guys. I'm only doing it to look cool. I only want you to like me. This is the nerd off. Purely for bragging rights. This is the nerdy one. It, also, it really depends on the questions as well. Okay, so the first five questions <laughs> are game related. Oh god, okay. I'll say the start and you finish it off. So, final. That's Mortal. Combat. Combat. Mass. Effect. Dragon Ball. Z. Or GT. Oh, I was going to say, it could have gone either way. could have gone either way. Oh, 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 oh. World of. Are you into 
Wow. Yeah, man. Shit. You disappoint me. Shit, you just get the fuck out. It's legal, but... Yeah. Legal. Okay, so the next four <laughs> legal for you. Are named, so <laughs> I'll say the first name. Okay. Got to complete the full name. Okay. Naruto. Uzumaki. Sasuke. Uchiha. Do you screw that one up royally? Get out! <laughs> I can't believe I even let you have the first one. I just like want to speak. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Cloud. Strife. Here. I can't. Gains Gainsborough. Yeah. Ah, fuck! Okay. <laughs> this is the last two completely Final Fantasy theme. Why is it just This is obvious. I'm across the trend here. He's played almost all the games. This I have unfair. played all the games, pretty much. And if you haven't, why not? Get on that Get shit. Get onto it. Get onto it. You're really missing out on some quality JRPG action. <laughs> uh, Yuna's father. You can have this one. It's your character. I don't oh. know Yuna's father's name! Go through all the team characters you know. Just, just go, just go, go, go. Get out. How can you call the character? No, no, no. I think you need to walk away. No, answer. Get back here and answer. Lord. I'm having a really, really bad mind just, blank. Just blank now. You having a mind blank, or you just haven't played ten? I actually haven't played ten. I've got it at home. You gotta come and play it. Sorry, but I and that's the sad truth. I actually haven't played ten. Not I'm even ashamed. gonna give you the answer, you can go home and find out. Yeah, so you can okay. get off Google and Google that shit. Comment feel bad below. That comment below. Do not comment below. Do not give her the answer. She can work this out herself. This will be awkward because the next one's Tetis is far. Jet. I knew that one. You're just being me. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't have a chance to answer Ted Jack. Shut up. <laughs> that concludes part two of the second interview with Joe and Esther, and I don't know who called the winner of that, but I, I'm clearly the winner. I think he won with Dragon Ball GT, to be honest. Yeah, to be honest, for originality. Yeah, probably. I was actually going to leave it, I was like, I was going to leave it, I was like, Dragon Ball's just as fine as it's... True. Okay, fine. Purist, all the way. You know, who, who needs, who needs some sound forms, you know? So that's us, cool. guys. Finally finished that. <laughs> Bye. Attention! That one's recording. And it's still recording, so we're fine.